Well, in the meantime, October is Infant and Pregnancy Loss Awareness Month, and a new documentary exploring cultural stigmas around miscarriage and infertility features Seattle experts and advocates, and that is going to screen this week as That's well. That's right. Dr. Laura Sahin is here with us this morning to talk about these issues with this new film. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. Super interesting. Uh, what do you, what's people expect from this film? Well, the, it's the first of its kind documentary. Yeah. It's really trying to shatter the stigma around miscarriage by sharing stories and having people uh, talk about it. I think it's really interesting that in the trailer even, we saw men and women talking about this from all walks of life. Mm. What does that tell you? I, th I mean, to me, it told me like, okay, people are ready to talk about it. They want to know that, they, that that mattered to them, that the baby was a part of their lives. Absolutely. I don't think people realize how common miscarriage is because it can happen so early and it can happen before people share. But one in four pregnancies end in miscarriage. And I also think a lot of the focus on healing is on women because it, they're healing physically as well as emotionally. But I love that you brought up that, of course, men are a huge part of this process. Yeah, it's the support structure, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there is that period of time where uh, it's hard to talk about. You don't know how to talk about it. You don't know how to react as well to yeah. someone that you know, a family member that had one. Yeah. So it's an interesting topic for sure. Do you find that it's also important there, to, that support structure is super critical? Absolutely. And I think that um, in a way, doctors are contributing to the stigma a little bit by telling their patients not to share until after the first trimester, mm -hmm. you know, just in case, mm -hmm. just in case of what? Well, just in case of a miscarriage because it's so common. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, then when people need it the most, they haven't shared and it's, it's hard. Yeah, I was going to say that's the hardest part because w before we had our baby, we had a miscarriage, mm -hmm. um, you know, through fertility treatments. And it was like, well, we have to tell our family that we're even doing these treatments. So, mm -hmm. to, you know, there's so many things. It's like you want to wait, but at the same time, you want people to know when you're having a hard time. Exactly. And then people that. are trying to help, but sometimes they say hurtful things. And so it's just trying to increase awareness and have people talk about it, get it out of the shadows so that people feel less alone and less broken. Mm -hmm. so that's really interesting, actually. So in a way, you recommend telling people right away. As soon as you get, you know, the stick says positive, you're saying make a phone call. <laughs> Great. Well, I think uh, maybe choose who you tell very carefully. Sure. Choose your tribe carefully. Mm -hmm. um, but sharing a little bit is important because we all need support. Mm -hmm. um, just wondering, mm -hmm. why, why were there so many Seattle advocates in this film? Sure. So the film is by a director, and she's um, actually from Baltimore. She'll be here at the screening tomorrow. Nice. Um, which is wonderful, and um, I found her on Instagram, reached out to her because she was doing uh, funding, uh, you know, trying to raise money for the project, and I said, oh my gosh, I've never heard of anything like this. How can I support? How can I help? And we started talking, and I shared with her just how amazing the support community in Seattle is, and one thing led to another, and she came out here to film. Yeah. Oh, well, we're so glad that you were part of that project. Um, also, remind everyone, tomorrow night at SIF. Correct, okay. uh, and Queen Anne, and go on Eventbrite um, to buy tickets. The only reason we're buying tickets is to support parent support right. of Puget Sound, a wonderful. Dr. Dr. Laura Sahin, thanks Thank for being you. here this morning. Thank you.